Yo, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303 from wartesters.com. Today we got a detailed look at these bad boys right here. This is the Peak TP94, right? Oh, f it's in Chinese. Oh wait, Tony Park. Yeah. So like I was saying, we got a detailed look at these guys right here. This is the Peak TP94. Tony Park is fourth signature shoe with Peak. So with that being said, let's go ahead, get right into it. All right guys, so these things feel like they might be performance beasts, much like the TP9s of the past. Tony Parker's first signature shoe, I personally really liked. His second signature shoe was awesome as well. His third one, I never ended up playing in, but this is the fourth one, and this one feels the best to me, just upon first impression, that is. So first off, the traction, like all of the other past models is pretty much a no-nonsense design it's just herringbone it's aggressive it's all over the place from top to bottom it's all the way up at the toe along the outriggers wraps up to the medial forefoot and all the way in the back now the cushion much like attraction is consistent with the rest of the TP9 line we have that gradient dual midsole setup and what gradient dual is if you haven't seen the past performance reviews on the other peak models it's just a different density foam layering system and you can actually see it here in the forefoot they like to actually make that forefoot section translucent for that specific reason so you can actually see their tech kind of similar to like Nike's visible air or visible zoom this is visible gradient dual and as you can see there are three different layers of phylon foam this makes the shoe super responsive well cushioned which means that they'll provide some really nice impact protection while still maintaining low to the ground low profile court feel basically this is one of the best like guard setups if you're looking for court feel along with impact protection it's not anything that you feel it's not anything crazy but it works and it works really well almost like the uh, crazy light boost from this year the 2016 model kind of like how that boost is really firm but it does its job really really well giving you impact protection and court feel that's what gradient dual is always done and uh, it's it's a little bit firmer than the boost boost hands down best impact protection that we have right now in the market however this is no slouch right here this has always been a good job i've always really enjoyed it you can't see it but it's also in the heel as well if you look at past models they've normally made it like translucent all the way through so that you can see all the tech inside now the upper is something that i have a small love hate relationship relationship with. This is the nicest and most soft upper that we've had on a TP9 model, but uh, it's not kind of what it seems. So this, much like the Nike Kobe 10, Kyrie 1 and 2, it looks like it's mesh, but it's actually fused with mesh glued on top of it. I really just don't like that concept. It doesn't mean that it doesn't work. It just, uh, to me, if you're going to give me mesh, give me mesh. If you're going to give me fuse, give me fuse. But don't make me think that I'm getting mesh and then when I get them in, it's actually fused with mesh glued on top of it. I, I absolutely don't like that. It almost makes me feel like I'm getting duped but um, like I said this is the softest rendition of this type of material so this is in my opinion a little bit better than what we've gotten on the Kyrie 1, 2 and Kobe 10. So this is not going to be quite as breathable as it looks but it's fairly soft not not as soft as I'd like but soft enough and then you do have fuse overlays on top of the mesh in high wear areas along with a reflective dynamic lacing system which I actually really enjoy this lacing system usually works really well I've used it plenty of times on different Nike and Jordan models so I don't think that this is going to be an issue whatsoever this is also a low cut shoe which i personally enjoy and that brings me into the fit now the fit is super weird these are listed as a size 10 and a half us which is not my size however they fit perfectly like as if they're a size 9. so what i would recommend is for you to go based off of your in here it's labeled as france um, but it's like your euro size so in here it's labeled as 43 for me normally mine is like a 42 and a half to a 43 that's usually a size nine nine and a half sometimes at eight and a half it depends on the brand but that's what i would go with because this is like this is this is weird i put them on thinking that they were just going to be like too big for me so i was end up not going to be able to wear them but uh like i said they're they're my size even though they're not labeled as such us wise or US size wise, which is just really weird. So go based off of your Euro size for anybody wondering just to kind of like be safe. Now this guy right here is the home colorway. I really enjoy it. It's simple, it's clean, it's black and white or white and black, depending on how you look at it. And then this pair is the Away, and this is same thing, just reverse colors. It's black, white, white underlay, basically that white fuse underneath it. Between the two, I do prefer this one. However, a lot of people like all black shoes, so you might want to go with this one. Now these are not my size. This, this is labeled as a US size 12, but the France or euro size is 45 so i believe this would be a us size 11 and we're actually going to be giving these away big shout out to peak by the way peak supplied all of the wear tester staff with uh you know the parker shoe which is awesome they sent over one for everybody plus this one that didn't fit anyone so we're giving it to one of you guys i am not sure quite how we're going to do this giveaway just yet but stay tuned to wear testers social media our facebook instagram twitter it's all wear testers that's where i will be announcing the giveaway the rules all that stuff so 
yeah, if you're interested, make sure that you're following us so that you don't miss out on your opportunity to potentially win a pair. And that pretty much takes care of it. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support. Let me know what you guys think about these guys, the TP9-4. It's a mouthful. That's what she said. Oh. So until next time, guys, have a good one. What's going on guys? It's Jaren from wearchesters.com and last week Nike unveiled the Hyper Adapt 1.0 which featured auto lacing technology inspired by the sneakers Marty McFly wore in Back to the Future 2. But tomorrow it looks like Nike's And now we have these guys here which is the Zoom Witness.